Hello there! This is part two of our series of short videos about building a C-sharp app to extract issue data from JIRA. In this episode, we'll set up the skeleton of our program. In future videos, we'll fill out the functionality, but for now, I uh, just want to get started coding and give us a baseline to work from. We'll start that by creating a, a class file. In fact, we'll put two, file, uh, two classes into this file. So for that, I am I'm right here, so I've got my Newtonsoft JSON DLL stuck into the folder where I will save this. And you know what? I am going to create create it right here. So we'll call this automate.cs and eliminate that old extension. And now we'll open it up with uh, whichever text editor you like. Uh, today, I'm going to use brackets. So there we are, we have a file to work on. And uh, we'll start off by uh, using system. And then I'm gonna give it a namespace just for fun, FX, because that's my company. Obviously, you probably have a different company. And I'm gonna create a class also called automate. And in there we'll get a private static void main string, uh, string array args. We'll close that up. Now, I don't really want it to do much. I like everything to sort of be testable as I go, so I'm just going to say started. And you know what? If I'm doing that, maybe I can uh, put another line. I'll put everything else in between these two, and I'll have finished, and then I'll have an indication that the end of the program has been reached as well. That's all we have for our class automate. This will be. This will only really contain our main method. From this, we'll instantiate another object and use it to do all the processing. And that other object then, let's create a class and we'll call it Jira Request. In here we don't really need to do too much, right? It's just all the work. We'll start off with a constructor for that. Let's see, public Jira Request. I'm passing in nothing because we have no properties to set yet or any processing to do. And then we'll give it some, some methods. And of course the constructor is technically a method as well, but I'm just going to flag that a little differently there. Public void login to Jira is the first thing that we need to do. And then once we've logged into Jira, we're going to have a parse j session ID out of the response that we got back. Once we do that, we're going to use that j session ID to get some data. I'm going to call it JSON data to differentiate it from the CSV data that we will turn it into. So public void, in fact, we'll turn it into it right here. Format as CSV, public void write to file. Now we will need some, some properties here as well. So let's, let's not neglect those properties. What data will we be working with? We'll have, we'll have a bunch of private strings actually, because almost everything here returns a string. We've got one that's our login response. We're going to have one that is our J session ID uh, and that we parse out using the parse J set, then get JSON data. So I guess that means we're going to have JSON data and we're going to convert it into a CSV data after that. And then I'm not sure this makes sense as a string. I just want an indication, a true or false, that the right to file, I'll call it, now I'll call it output, that the output from that function, it gives me as true or false, it worked or it didn't. Well, that will do it there. Now in our constructor we can actually initialize these variables and we should do that while we're here. It makes me nervous to do too much coding without testing, but this is very basic stuff. JSON data. CSV data and write to file output. And that I'll put as false because I'm a pessimist. And these we'll just initialize to empty. We'll fill those up later as we get some actual data to pass in. And we could glue these classes together too. We could say up here in our automate, let's create a Jira request object. I'm um, call it request, and it will equal a new Jira request. And that is, that's it. And that's everything set up as far as that. Whoops, 
Control S to save. Now, the compiling part. We're going to launch CMD command prompt. So this is, first we need to know Windows Microsoft.net. Now I know where this is because I just installed it. It's Framework 64 and it's version 4.0.30319 because I have that written down off screen and csc.exe. That is our exe program. So we're going to call it and we're going to we're going to tell it to I'm just going to put this reference in right now because we we aren't using it yet, but I want to copy and paste this under the top of my document so I don't have to type it again. And then out we will do um, our out file will be called automate.exe and of course we'll pass it in our C sharp file to do its work on. So that's pretty good. I'm going to copy and paste that in here so we can use it later. And maybe I'll even say that is to compile. Okay, so that command should compile. This test is really mostly about our environment. How do we have things set up? Oh, of course there is no automate here, is there? Oh, it's a good thing I copied and pasted that. Let's go, um, let's try um, CD desktop. And we are in desktop. Okay, I have a desktop. And we have desktop CD C sharp. And there's our automate. So now we can pop in this thing. And we will run. Oh, namespace. Ah. Oh, yes. It's not called a Boolean in C sharp, is it? It's called a bool. Let's try again. Aha, warnings. Assignment never used. Yes, that's exactly what we've done. Now, with this in place, we automate. We should be able to run it as well. Oh, look at that! Started and finished. Now we have no compile errors, no run errors. Uh, that is pretty nice. That's really it for this episode. We're just setting up the skeleton here. We have two classes. An automate class that we will actually be calling from the command line to run it because it contains the main method. And then we've got this Jira request class that we will instantiate here and it will do all of our work. We have all these methods in here. Thanks for tuning in here. In the next episode, we'll get started on our login to Jira function, our first real functionality. And I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.